What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're back with another preview and predictions. This time for Crown Jewel. Looking forward to checking this out. Should be a good showing with the card they have already um, put out for us. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how things play out. So we're gonna get right into this one. Now I didn't even know this was this match was happening, but apparently Sami Zayn. And JD McDonough are supposed to be on the kickoff show. It's supposed to be pre-show kickoff match or whatnot. So I didn't know this was happening. Um, honestly, I mean, we've kind of seen a rendition of Sami Zayn and insert Judgment Day member here or there. So I'm not really looking forward to it for the most part because we it's it's kind of it feels like it's been done already. You know their interaction, but do I think? It will be a fun match. Do I think the crowd will be electric? I think they will. Um, honestly, I'm going to go with Sami Zayn to win here. JD, is he's been used in a way as like the Judgment Day lackey. Not to say that he can't get wins, but he's there to pretty much be that extra man when things are going rough for the Judgment Day. He's not the guy that you expect to win a lot of matches. He's their lackey. Or whatnot he's trying to actually get into the judgment day and you know he's the guy that's going to take the pinfalls and the losses for the most part so should be entertaining i do think the crowd is going to be electric especially for Sami Zayn. should be very interesting to see how that plays out but most likely i am going with Sami Zayn to win this match um the wwe women's championship eo sky versus bianca belair now I do think this is going to be a pretty good match, pretty good women's match. Obviously, Bianca is trying to right the wrongs that happened to her a few months back. But I do think the numbers game is going to be uh, uh, playing to this. And I do not think Bianca is going to get the title back. I think there's still more story to tell with EO and Bailey, And I hope that does happen relatively soon. They can really build towards that. Because Bailey is still making decisions as if she's the champion when she's not. Uh, and she's trying to, you know, kind of just makes decisions for uh, EO or whatnot. And I, I do think that Bianca may get close. But I think the number game, numbers game is going to be a reason why she ends up losing. And uh, EO will retain, which I think that is perfectly fine. Next. John Cena versus Solo Sokoa. This I'm really looking forward to. They have built this up as John Cena needs to win this match. Um, he's been struggling to get wins for the past few years. And that's really interesting considering how we know John Cena's career in WWE has been him overcoming all the odds and obstacles um they have built up solo as this unstoppable force but they're also telling the story that john cena needs this win and i do think john cena is going to get the win here i know some people will be like well solo needs it and i i get that i get what you know how some people will say well solo's the the newer talent solo needs this win you know you could really you know put some extra momentum behind him and you know we know john cena's going back to hollywood soon so why not give it to solo and i wouldn't trip if solo does win but i do think just the story they've been telling i think solo will be okay taking a loss here now the question is will the loss be because of jimmy's interference i do think that may be the caveat instead of having solo just lose clean to john cena have solo lose because jimmy interferes and instead of jimmy helping he makes the situation work which causes solo to lose and then you can really create some tension between solo and jimmy going forward i think that's the way they protect solo from in this loss to john cena so i think that may be the situation here so i'm definitely going with john cena to win uh against solo should be a very fun match next we got Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest. This should be also a, a very interesting match too. I like what Cody had said on the Go Home Show. Like you should be the leader of Judgment Day. He was talking to Damian Priest. You should be the leader of Judgment Day, but instead you're a, you're walking behind 
Finn Balor. You're walking behind Rhea. You're even walking behind Dominic, trying to create that dissension or whatnot. And he's like, yo, I'm going to finish the story and I'm going to have to go right through you, which I do feel like that's what's going to happen here. I do feel like Cody Rhodes will win and beat Damian Priest to move on to whatever storyline they have planned for him next. Um, it just doesn't make sense for him to lose, considering they've been teasing of him finishing the story. So it'll be interesting to see where they go, you know, how they set up this match. I do think this will be pretty good, and I have Cody Rhodes winning, beating Damian Priest, and maybe Damian starts to feel some type of way because I'm sure there's going to be some judgment day shen shenanigans. I'm sure Finn Balor is going to try to get involved. That's how they, they roll the numbers game and it may backfire. And that can be a very interesting story to tell. So we'll see what happens here. United States championship, Rey Mysterio versus Logan Paul. I have been thinking about this. This is going to be a fun match. I'm, uh, it's it's tough because I wouldn't be upset if he won. I know, I know that's crazy. I wouldn't be upset if he won. Only because you could potentially set up something with him and Ricochet. And Ricochet takes the title off of him even though it's on SmackDown. Ricochet's on Raw. So I don't know. <laughs> This is a really tough one. This is a really tough one. If anything, I think I'm going to go with Ray to retain only because Ricochet will get involved. Ray will retain. Logan Paul may try to cheat, which I think he should. He's a heel. And then you have Ricochet get involved, cost them the match, and they can set up a feud going forward. Potentially at Survivor Series. So, I think that would be the better storytelling. Yes, once again, having Logan Paul win here, I wouldn't trip because I feel like he would end up dropping the title to somebody else potentially. Um, hopefully, Ricochet. But, have Rey Mysterio retain. That, that, this would be my option. Have him retain. Have Ricochet uh, pretty much stop Logan Paul, Logan Paul from cheating. Ray capitalizes and he wins the match. And now you set up something with Logan Paul and Ricochet. So I'm going with Ray Mysterio winning this match. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I know it's hard to have a bad match with Ray Mysterio. Logan Paul has been doing some great stuff every time he steps into a WWE ring. I think they may, may even have match of the night. So there's some good match of the night contenders on this show. But if there's anybody that can surprise us, Ray Mysterio, Logan Paul for sure. Now, this match right here, I am very, very interested in. It has been a, a very long, it's like, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. The Women's World Championship match, Rhea Ripley, Nia Jax, Zoe Stark, Shayna Baszler, and Raquel Rodriguez. It's been a while since we've seen Rhea actually get into the ring and defend her title. Well, it hasn't been too long, but she she hasn't really defended her title much. This is like the top powerhouse women of all uh, on Monday Night Raw. The top top of the top. The cream of the crop, as they say, for the women's division on Raw. These are legit contenders. They've built them up as such. And I think this is just going to be an all-out brawl, and I'm all for it. But most likely, Rhea will retain. I don't see Rhea losing that championship until maybe WrestleMania. Rio will retain the title. Um it's 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 going to be a, a it's going to be a fun match though. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the segment where everyone jumps Nia Jax. That's what I'm here for. So, but yeah, Rhea will retain the uh the uh championship here. So, and then we're going to get into the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Now, this one it's very, very interesting. This one's very, very interesting. I'm not sure who I would have win here. I love what they're doing with Drew's character. Drew's character has been pretty fantastic. He's talking from a sense of logic, but also talking from a sense of just 
like frustration and and him remembering all the times the bloodline has screwed him over. But it's also the same. It's also funny because he's kind of had some type of lingering relationship with the Judgment Day. I love what they're doing with Drew's character. Obviously, Seth Rollins is trying to carry Monday Night Raw on his back, the back that they're focusing on. Do This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I can't just say Seth wins here. But I don't think he's the person that beats Drew. I'm still I'm still of the idea of Guther being the one to break uh to break Seth Rollins. If there's anybody to break him, it would be Guther. So I do think Seth Rollins will still win here. I do think he will retain just barely, but I do think Seth Rollins will win here and it'll be really interesting if they really have Drew during the match or after the match, go full heel. Because he's kind of just been in this tweener mode. But we don't know if he's going to go full heel. Maybe this is the time you turn him really full heel to have a rematch. I think that's something that may do. I don't know. But I'm definitely going with Drew McIntyre losing. Seth Rollins retaining. I just don't see Seth dropping it. At least not until uh, either a potential cash-in after a certain match or Gunther being the one to take him down. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how things play out all the way up to WrestleMania season. And last but not least, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match, Roman Reigns versus LA Knight. We know who's winning. It's it's not even going to be a surprise. Of course, LA Knight is losing this match. Roman Reigns is retaining. And the rumors and reports are saying after Crown Jewel, he's going to be going away for a while. He's not advertised for um, Survivor Series, and we may not see him until maybe Royal Rumble time, which sucks. It does. I think there, this title reign has ran its course. It has. But we got, we got to wait till WrestleMania to finish this, to finish this story. So uh, I love LA Knight. This is a very big match for him. Um, but I do not see him winning. It just, I would love for it to happen and they could pull it audible, but if they're going to have Roman Reigns lose, it's definitely going to be in the United States. It's definitely going to be at a bigger venue with a lot more people in the crowd and most likely it's going to be WrestleMania. So I know we want to see Roman finally lose. A lot of us, LA Knight's not going to be the one to get the job done. And plus it is super soon. This would literally be, if he wants to win, this would be his first championship on the main roster in WWE that he wins. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship, that's kind of, you don't have no room to grow from there. I think he's going to look good in defeat. I know that's really weird to say, but he's going to, I think he's going to be fine in defeat. He's still going to be mega over. If anything, he may even get even more over because we know there's going to be some shenanigans. Someone's going to screw him over relating to the bloodline and that's going to be the reason why he doesn't win but roman's going to make him look like a million bucks la Knight's going to make like roman look even better than what he already is it's going to be a fun match but we know how this ends roman reigns retains and that's uh my preview and predictions for this show man comment down below let me know who you guys think will win who do you guys think will lose why and why not let me know uh, what match are you looking forward to the most on this show i'm just looking forward to doing the live stream with you guys and having a good time like we always do for the wrestling uh live stream reactions but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still in the speed of youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace